and welcome! In today's video, you will learn about how a walking pilgrimage can help you deal with feelings of uncertainty, and we'll hear from Mitra, formerly known as Peter Park, who's the director, the executive director of Maple, about his experiences doing and completing a walking pilgrimage from here to Burlington last week and also learn about why he did that and some of the wisdom that he gained along the way. Buddhism, the first noble truth is suffering exists and you should realize that's true and real. A lot of people fault Buddhism for being pessimistic. Well, you gotta start there. But if you ever meet someone that's in deep suffering, that's a great relief. If I'm walking on the road and I'm having a hard time and someone says, you know, you don't really have to suffer right now. Why don't you just smile and feel better? That's not what I want to hear. I want to hear just pretend to be happy right now. And really, the second and third noble truths are extremely the most optimistic, most confident statements possible that there is an actual cause we can find and that we can end. That it's possible to not suffer. It's possible to face our deepest fears, our deepest challenges whatever they may be, not suffer, to not have resistance to what we may have spent our lifetime trying to avoid. And that very avoidance is the suffering that's causing the destruction of the whole planet. Wow, what a clip. It's just a clip of the wisdom. Hopefully in this interview we'll get uh, some more of that wisdom and, and learn a little bit more about Mitra's pilgrimage and for those of you that don't know, last week Mitra did a walking pilgrimage from Maple Monastic Academy here in Lowell all the way to Burlington, which is about a 70 mile walk, which mostly happened on the highway, is that right? It was a mixed trail. Sometimes I could find a lucky uh, bike trail and mm. share the lane with bikers, uh, but a lot of it was on the highway and having cars zoom past me 60 miles an hour. Mm. Yeah. And were there periods during the pilgrimage where you were unsure of your next destination? Where you were unsure where you were going to sleep or where you were mm -hmm. going to go that afternoon? Mm -hmm. Were there some periods of uncertainty during your pilgrimage? Yeah, certainly. Um, I started the pilgrimage without any plans or mm. uh, didn't tell anyone along the way yet about mm. what I was doing. And so part of me thought about just camping out each day. Um, but I ended up calling one or two people I knew along the way and they luckily hosted me. So I spent about two nights uh, staying with uh, community members mm -hmm. and two nights I spent just in the woods, um, found, found a random spot and just had a tarp and my sleeping pad. And uh, uh, those were nervous nights. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> sure what was going to happen. Uh, and I, I was never really sure what exactly the path I was going to take was and mm. different people actually advised me along the way of like, yeah, here's a trail you can take. And I was like, uh, mm. I heard there's a paddle, there's a way you can take a kayak from Jeffersonville to Burlington. <laughs> so I thought maybe I could do that. And then I realized there's no walking trail there. So I had to find some other ways. And I'm curious, what was going through your mind during these periods of uncertainty? Um, yeah, if you uh, could share some experiences. Honestly, the main one was, what am I doing? Where am I going? Mm. Should I be thinking about this right now? Mm -hmm. And then uh, trying to let that go and just take the next step, whatever it was, and just be like, I know I need to walk at least another three hours, so mm -hmm. that's fine. I don't need to think about this too much. Um, I did have like GPS in my map, so I was like... I know for sure I have like 10 miles to go before I need to make any decisions, so I might as well just keep walking. Mm. Yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. Please like this video if you liked it, subscribe for more content or check out our other social media, and share with your friends if you think that they would benefit from learning anything in this episode. Bye! to this YouTube video. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Done. Done. Uh, enjoy the show. <laughs> That's good. I'm still rolling. This will just be in the blooper reel. <laughs> we'll make some <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>